Uh, my name is Dr. Simon Funky Fung. I'm a radiation oncologist at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Oftentimes when I'm meeting with a new patient who are candidates for radiation as part of their cancer treatments, questions that often come up are surrounding side effects related to radiation treatments. To understand the side effects related to radiation, one has to understand also that radiation is similar to a beam of light or beam of energy that is targeted or directed at the site of cancer. Side effects of radiation treatment are often in the area where the cancer is located. Side effects from radiation can be categorized into two categories mainly, short-term or acute side effects, side effects that often develop during the course of radiation treatment, and chronic or long-term side effects, which can uh, occur weeks or even months after the radiation treatments are completed. One of the most common side effects that patients experience during the course of radiation treatments uh, is fatigue. Other types of side effects can be in the areas where the cancer is located. For example, in the chest or in the breasts, side effects may be in the skin or in the lungs themselves. Radiation to cancers in the abdomen or pelvis could cause side effects such as nausea or vomiting, diarrhea or constipation. The types of side effects are common in the areas of the body they're being treated. The frequency or the likelihood as well as the severity of treatments are oftentimes dependent on the amount of radiation being received, whether there's additional treatments being given at the same time, such as chemotherapy, as well as a patient's general health otherwise. That's why it's very important for patients to discuss side effects that are unique to them with their treatment team. Some long-term side effects that are a result of radiation can be related to um, formation of fibrosis or scar tissue in the areas that were treated. Uh, in the chest, that can make the skin feel thicker, breast tissue feel a little bit more firm. In the lung, there can be scarring that can affect breathing. Um, in the abdomen or pelvis, uh, scar tissue can make or affect some of the function of the organs in the area that were treated with radiation treatments. The likelihood or severity of these symptoms or side effects uh, are usually infrequent, but again, may be dependent on the amount of radiation received, uh, as well as any difficulties or problems that these organs or areas may have been experiencing prior to radiation treatments. Uh, your treatment team or your radiation oncology team would be best able to describe the likelihood and or the severity of these side effects, um, which can be chronic or long term. At Roswell Park, consideration of the risk or likelihood of side effects uh, starts from the time that we meet you, the patient, uh, in consultation. When we make recommendations about the number of treatments or the amount of radiation, uh, side effects are a consideration in that decision-making process. We have a predefined set of dose constraints or constraints uh, of how much radiation is safe to be delivered, and we always strive to meet or uh, beat these dose constraints in each individual patient. Sometimes certain positions for the radiation treatment themselves may result in lower side effects experienced during or even after the course of radiation.